Hello, and welcome to another Micro Aller tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over on how to install my 4Course UI project. That way you can start implementing your own little 4Course UI components really, really quickly and get some main menus working within Unreal very, very quickly without much knowledge about ActionScript or anything about that because it's mostly done for you. You just gotta, just gotta use it. Now to install 4Course UI, first you have to kind of download it. And in order to download it, at the moment, the, uh, the only true download page is uh, on my site, if you go to UDK development, this little category here, you'll see 4Course UI, there's a little download link there. Now I'm gonna be creating my own website for each of these projects, but until then, just you can just download it here. And for those watching this, they can, uh, well, um, who wanna re-link re to this video, I would appreciate it if you don't hot link to my file, but post or link to this page directly, because just thank you if you do that. Thank you. Anyways, so once you download that, you're going to get a, it's a .zip file, and you want to extract that file into your UDK folder. Now this UDK folder, or this zip file, extracts directly into your UDK folder without touching any of the other ones. Like, you just click your UDK folder and hit OK. And it's going to ask you if you would like to replace button.as now that's part of the click components that we installed last time. I made one very, very, very small change to the ver to one line of code in the button action script just to make the code a lot easier to work with and I didn't have to create a new subclass for button and things like that. So I'm not supposed to modify these files, but I did it just to make things easier. But yes, it doesn't change any functionality with it. It works exactly the same. It only adds one tiny thing to an event function, but we'll go into that in a later tutorial. That's not necessary right now. So go ahead and hit yes, and then uh, for you it shouldn't say over anything else. Now, that's in, now you get the files. It's there. Cool. Now you need to add a script package. This uh, the zip file also contains a script package, and I assuming you're already having you're already developing your own game, so you already know how to work with config files and whatnot. But let's go to UDK game, let's go to config, and we have to add the script package to the engine. So let's go ahead and open up default engine. And where it says edit packages, above like below UT game content, but above your current packages, we want to just type in edit packages and just type in four course UI. Just like that. Go ahead and hit save and close this. And let's just open up the front end really quick. Unreal front end. And go ahead and click make. You might need to do a full recompile. It, either way, yeah, see, uh, it doesn't say anything in the compiling. So let's go ahead and do a full recompile. And it's going to take a little bit of time. And it's going to recompile all of your packages. And that might take a while, depending on how good or how fast your computer is. And in the compile list, you should see right after UT game, once that's or right after UT game content, when that's finished, you should see four course UI pop up there. And it should compile with zero errors and zero warnings. As soon as UT game compiles, UT game content, four course UI right there. See it right there on my list, compile just fine. Now, once that package is compiling with your code and it's installed and it's working, the script part, that's already done. Now we need, a, we need to tell Flash to use some of this code. So let's go ahead and open up CS5, or I mean Flash. This could work with CS4, either way, doesn't really matter. That could work with Flash 8 too. I mean, 8's compatible with scale form as well. So, but I don't know what the extension is. That's the problem. Now. And so, here we go. We continue to use this trial because I'm using a trial version. All right. Now, once you're here, we did this kind of before when we installed Scaleform, and I kind of skipped the last video tutorial because some people didn't need to install this. Now you'll see that I've included my development flash four course UI folder. Same way I include click, same directory structure, except instead of click, I included four course. When, uh, just add that in there, same time, no, same way we did click, hit OK. And once you've done that, flash it. My flash crashes. I don't know. Every time I go into that box and it crashes. But 
should not crash for you. I'm not sure why that is. In fact, I reinstalled CS5. I didn't even include anything. I went to that box and it crashed. Not sure why that is. Doesn't happen for me in CS4. I have CS4 installed too, and I use that to test my backward compatibility. And that works fine there, but I don't know what's wrong with CS5. So once you've done that, it's installed, and you're, you can now begin using just my project and using Scaleform to create your own type of Scaleform applications and your own main menus. And we'll go over how to make a very basic, really quick main menu with project or with the uh, four course UI with scale form and then after that video we'll learn how to implement it in fact uh, hey my last video the video that you watched before this how to install scale form just finished rendering so I'm gonna go ahead and upload that now and all right so see you in the next video tutorial hopefully this is all set up for you and thank you for watching goodbye